Next Play, next. Good day on X Play, hanging with Uma and Wolverine in City of Heroes, Golden Throats in Karaoke Revolution Volume 2, and Morgan Goes Symphonic with Final Fantasy in concert. I'm a very uh, oral person. No comment! It's game time! Sent from the future to protect John Connor, it's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb! Hmm. I thought I was sent back to the 1950s to make sure my parents fell in love and that the clock tower got struck by lightning. Hello and welcome to X-Play! Maybe I was supposed to stop the spread of a deadly virus that forced all mankind to live underground? Or, or I was, I was welcome sent back to save to, the whales! To, to, to X-Play! No, 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 that was Star Trek IV. The one where Spock Whoa. wears a hairy cloth robe and a headband the entire movie. Oh, welcome to X-Play! On today's show, we review one of the most highly anticipated online games of the year. It has superheroes in it. My inner nerd is singing off key. And we have ultimate fighting. And side-scrolling shooters. And the ultimate musical experience for some very dedicated Final Fantasy fans. Plus, the opposite of the ultimate musical experience when Adam and I preview Karaoke Revolution Volume 2. But we begin with a game that makes this comic book geek so very, very happy. Here's our review of City of Heroes. Happy dance. Hope you like spandex, folks, because it's time to live out your adolescent power fantasies with City of Heroes. Welcome to Paragon City. This bustling metropolis recently survived an alien invasion, but just barely. Understandably paranoid, the city has started enlisting the help of pretty much any superpowered being that's willing to relocate, and that's where the players come in. This is a massively multiplayer RPG based on comic book superheroes, and it's relying on us to overpopulate the streets of Paragon City with thousands of incredibly muscular and attractive people, each with an overdeveloped sense of justice and a fetish for tights. The character creation system is amazing. Create any hero, no matter how original or, well, unoriginal. What, I love those movies. Oh wow, a Wolverine lookalike. Haven't seen any of those around or anything. After a little training, you're turned loose on the streets to start busting crime lords and the various gangs that roam the streets of Paragon City's numerous districts. Such as these guys, the Lost. They're evil men who use street signs for clothing and have televisions for heads. Televisions for heads! This is the height of villainy, people. You can choose between five classes of hero, but all five classes share many of the same power sets. So your unique looking hero will end up firing off the same energy beams as a couple hundred other players. Some abilities differ. Defenders make better healers, blasters do more damage, but it would have been nice to have more customization in the powers department. Luckily, all the powers are pretty cool. As you progress, you'll gain better and better abilities, but your old powers never become obsolete. There are no weapons or armor or items in the game, but you will find enhancements that boost the stats of your individual powers. As long as you keep your enhancement levels high, even the powers you start the game with will remain deadly effective at high levels. Combat is semi-real time. You click on the power you want to use and your stats determine how effective it is, or whether it hits the enemy at all. Grouping up with other players is essential to survival at higher levels. Plus, battling through an enemy hideout with your super friends is when City of Heroes really shines. It's also possible to gain new methods of travel, such as teleportation. And my favorite? Flight. Now that I can fly, I feel truly superpowered. But even those who slip the surly bonds of Earth shouldn't get overconfident. I can't think of worse ways to die, but I can't think of one more undignified than that. Beyond the flashy combat, however, you'll find, well, nothing. There's no crafting, no player buildings, no player versus player combat, no nothing. You beat up bad guys, level up, and go beat up some more bad guys. Sometimes it's hard to stay motivated. City of Heroes could evolve into something great if time is spent fleshing out the character classes. Adding capes would be nice too. Right now, it's a breath of fresh air for the MMORPG fans, but it might not hold your interest past the 30 day trial period. We give it a three out of five. This game has one of the best 
concepts for massively multiplayer online role-playing game ever. Unfortunately, it needs a lot of improvement if it's going to live up to its potential. Now, of course, that problem may be solved when the sequel, City of Villains, is released next year. But until then, one of the greatest pleasures of City of Heroes is playing Spot the Superhero. And with all the customization, the ability to recreate your favorite characters is limitless. Aside from Wolverine and the Bride from Kill Bill 1, we saw characters who look like Freddy Krueger, Solid Snake, the ambiguously gay duo, Cyclops, a three-foot-tall Hulk, and a Waldo. Because you can't have an MMORPG without a Waldo. And you can't have an ultimate fighting game without that Ken Shamrock dude. So needless to say, he's in UFC Sudden Impact. So take off your shirt. Here's our review. The Ultimate Fighting Championship, the longtime king of pay-per-view reality fighting events, has been the subject of numerous video game translations over the years. Perhaps most famous for a grappling-based combat system that didn't play like a cheesy wrestling game. UFC is the poster child for rough and tumble gameplay. That said, UFC Sudden Impact might not really be worth your hard-earned Andrew Jacksons, but let's get it on anyway. Well, let's get it on! Fighters, fighters everywhere, and a woman too. UFC Sudden Impact has a sizable roster of ferocious heavyweights, calculating featherweights and all sizes and psychological dispositions in between. You've got the crown kings of the sport's signature cage, including but not limited to the Huntington Beach bad boy, Tito Ortiz, and other UFC greats like the world's most dangerous man, Ken Shamrock. Plus, Erica Montoya, the most active female in mixed martial arts, makes her video game debut in Sudden Impact. She's going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, or fist-to-fist -fist rather, with the big boys. Yeah, with mixed results. So the fighters look decent enough. They've got nice facial detail anyway. But the assorted walks towards the ring make them look like a who's who of tights featured models at a Pepto-Bismol sponsored fashion show. Loose it up, guys. Yeah, unfortunately, the series hasn't improved its look at all. Well, simply put, the game doesn't look very good. It's a low-res texture nightmare. While the action is good, both intense and allowing for back-and-forth matches, nothing significantly new has been brought to the table. And you know, if you're gonna release a new game, let's add a little newness, huh? Did you want to write that down? So, you have the standard championship modes and versus competitions that make up the meat and potatoes of every other standard UFC game. But you can also explore UFC Sudden Impact Story Mode, although it's not recommended. It boasts lots of tasks, lots of breeding, lots of blow time, lots of training, and ultimately lots of boredom. Overall, the mode is just a tiresome chore. UFC Sudden Impact has one thing going for it. It retails for only $20, and you can't really beat that. But if you have any of the other previous UFC games in your library, then there is no need to pick this one up. If you haven't checked them out before, you can probably find one of the older versions even cheaper. All things considered, we can only afford UFC Sudden Impact a subpar 2 out of 5. So oh, apparently Ultimate Fighters just sit on top of their opponents and punch them in the face. Yeah. I don't know what's so ultimate about that. Well, see, Ultimate Fighting is going the way of the XFL, and the fact that they haven't changed the game since it first came out of the Dreamcast isn't helping. Admittedly, these games were innovative back when Ultimate Fighting Championship first came out on Sega's console in 2000. A long time ago. But now it's just tired. Save you 20 bucks, start a bar fight instead. Hmm. That's the worst advice you've ever given on the show, Adam. What about Jim Makes Baby Sleepy? I still say it's bourbon. It's the juniper. Coming up, this fanboy's mom describes his reaction to Final Fantasy in concert. He was screaming when he found it on the internet. Brought to you by Arby's. Try Arby's new Market Fresh Chicken Salad Sandwich. Chicken salad never tasted so good. Here at Arby's, <gasps> we're celebrating the introduction of a great new sandwich. <gasps> Introducing Arby's new Market Fresh Chicken Salad Sandwich. Tender all-white meat chicken with fresh diced apples, sliced grapes, and toasted pecans. All on bakery soft honey wheat bread. Uh-oh! Arby's new Market Fresh Chicken Salad Sandwich. Chicken salad never tasted so good. You can make a great salary by getting IT certified now 
with Smart Certified Direct's fast and easy training courses. Their self-paced MCSE, Cisco, and A-plus certification training allows you to study whenever and wherever you want with 24-hour access to certified instructors. Take a free training course title now by visiting www.smartcertifieddirect.com or by calling 1-877-TRAINING and mentioning code TECHTV. Get your free course today. Hey, here's Bob, the host with the most, you might say. And here's his buddy, Tom. Looks like Tom could use a little help. So Bob did the buddy thing and told Tom to call and order Enzyte, the effective, reliable way to natural male enhancement. Well, Tom got his Enzyte and look at him now. Yes, in just a few short weeks, he's stepping large and laughing easy. Free samples of Enzyte now available while supplies last. Enzyte, the once a day tablet for natural male enhancement. This is Bob. Bob is doing well. Very well indeed. That's because not long ago, Bob realized that he needed something better in his life. And what did he get? Why, a big boost of confidence, a little more self-esteem, and a very happy missus at home. Free samples of Enzyte now available while supplies last. Enzyte, the once-a-day tablet for natural male enhancement. The 260 horsepower supercharged Grand Prix Comp G. The new 275 horsepower GXP. And now, the 350 horsepower GTO. Pontiac, fuel for the soul. Weeknights on G4 Tech TV. For computer help and how to, you know where to turn. Hang with Pat, Kevin, and the crew every night on the Screen Savers as they dish out expert advice and answer your tough tech questions. This is cool. <laughs> Join the fun on the Screen Savers. Weeknights at 7 p.m. only on G4 Tech TV. Now with Splenda, it's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Is that what that stuff was? Yeah, we got completely taken. <sighs> Welcome back to X-Play. We have a treat for Final Fantasy fans. And something to make fun of for everyone else. We went down to Los Angeles to see a once in a dorky lifetime event. Square Enix brings the music of Final Fantasy to the fans. <sighs> I'm here at the Walt Disney Concert Hall in Los Angeles, California for dear friends. Music from Final Fantasy. This is where the LA Philharmonic Orchestra plays music for Final Fantasy. I'm not making this up. So I have to ask, what the hell is going on here? We are putting on the first ever, as far as we know, the first ever video game orchestral concert here in Los Angeles at the Walt Disney Concert Hall. It is the first Final Fantasy orchestral concert outside of Japan. Have you gotten a really good fan response? Oh yeah, it was huge. We sold out um, tickets in less than 72 hours, less than three days. Now that we have the lowdown, let's go talk to some of the people in line. Hi Jay. Hi Morgan. What the hell are you doing here? It's the first Final Fantasy concert in the U.S. I mean, everybody I know is a fan of uh, this guy's music. Oh my god, because the music is just beautiful. It's just, it's amazing. I can't wait to just sit there and just be in a whole other world. I love it. I really like the waltz from Final Fantasy VIII. Uh, Kefka's theme from Final Fantasy VI is really good. Uh, some of Eris music and uh, Sephiroth's stuff from Seven is really cool. Oh, I totally agree. How much did you pay for your tickets? Close 100 to 190 for two tickets. What do you do for a living? <laughs> Construction and I work in a liquor store. I noticed you brought your mother. Yes, I did. So I have to ask, are you being dragged here as a chauffeur or are you interested? I am totally interested. I am so excited to be here. Um, when he, he was screaming when he found it on the internet and he came running out and told me I started screaming and this is my birthday present. This is what I asked for and I am more than happy to be here. The uh, music of Nobu Yamatsu is fantastic. And we have, I think we have practically every Final Fantasy CD we can get our hands on. We have quite a lot. <laughs> you are a very patient woman. <laughs> yes, uh, come all the way from Delaware just for this. Do you guys expect, like, when you're sitting there listening to the music, do you think you're going to feel what you felt when you were playing the game? Oh, definitely. It just, like, it's, like, touches your soul like the game did. You're just like, whoa, this is incredible. Like, your first time, you're like, whoa, this is so cool. And then, like, the music, it just makes it so much more real. What brought you to this Final Fantasy concert? What was it that made you plunk down your however many bucks and and stand in line out here? Um, my 
years-long obsession with Final Fantasy games, and especially the music. I've just been in love with them ever since I started. I probably started playing with the third game, I think. I have the piano versions. Um, the orchestral versions uh, arranged by Shiro Hamaguchi are my favorite. Uh, those are wonderful. Do you think you'll get those emotions that you had playing the game while sitting there listening to the music? Absolutely. I'm a very uh, oral person. I love music. I'm very tied in with music, so it, that's what really kind of pulls on the emotions. That was fun, but the show's about to start. Let's go inside and get some culture. We never envisioned that we were going to be playing video game music. <laughs> It's really inspiring to see so many nerds rise as one. Yes, inspiring is one word for it. Coming up! Metal Slug 3! Yep, there are three of them! Scion, featuring the all-new XA and XB, customized to your individual style. Flip it. This summer, rent as many games as you want. Flip it. For as long as you want. Play a game, then flip it for a new one. Flip it. With the new Blockbuster Flip Card. Rent it, play it, flip it. 49 bucks is all you pay for three months of unlimited game. Game all summer for less than the price of the hottest new games. So get to Blockbuster now and flip it. Rent the hottest game today, like PsyOps, the Mind Gate Conspiracy. Play it, then flip it for Driver 3 at Blockbuster now. For icy cool breath, any place, any time. Chew into fresh. Went to fresh network where icy cool breath is always on. debt way over my head, but I don't know where to turn. I get offers to lower my monthly payments and get out of debt fast, but I don't know if these companies are reputable. It just sounds too good to be true. I'm really scared, but I'm even more confused, so I end up doing nothing. Your fears are well-founded. There are millions just like us who don't know where to go or who to trust. That's why people who have credit card debt or feel that bankruptcy is the only way out are turning to Cambridge Credit Counseling for help. When you call Cambridge Credit Counseling, you get a free consultation from a certified counselor who understands your problems and will address all of your concerns. They'll even send you a complimentary copy of their book, Debt Free for Good. I wish I had read this years ago. If you have credit card debt, call 800-767-6116 for your free consultation and complimentary copy of Debt Free for Good. The call, the advice, and the book are free, so get relief today. Call 800-767-6116.
Gforia, the award show for gamers, is starting soon. Back by contractual obligation, it's Adam Setzler and Morgan Webb. Welcome back to X-Play. Now, a lot of people love the old side-scrolling shooters, which would explain why many of them are being re-released. Now, SNK's Metal Slug 3, which first came out in the year 2000 on the Neo Geo, is back on the Xbox. And for some reason, they're trying to charge 40 bucks for it. Here's our review of Metal Slug 3 for the Xbox. Well, there are two camps around 2D gaming. The first is the nostalgic gamer who remembers when everything was much better in the old days and thinks this newfangled 3D stuff is just a fad. And the second camp are those who have long since moved on. Still, there's always room for some nostalgia, right? At least that's what SNK is hoping with their Xbox port of the side-scrolling shooter Metal Slug 3. So first off, it seems odd to say that the biggest problem with this otherwise excellent example of its genre is the price tag. But it's true. A port of an old console game from a much older system seems a bit pricey at $40. It's not like we're made of money. That said, there is a lot to like here for fans of ye olde side-scrolling shooters. For all its 2D, low-res cartoon looks and simplistic action, there are some innovative aspects to the gameplay and a surprising sense of humor to match the wall-to-wall -wall gunplay. The plot stays pretty close to the bare minimum, of course. There's an evil overlord out to take over the world and only four brave soldiers are available to fight him. Helping you along are the occasional monkey, rescued POW, and or battle-ready camel. That's right, I said camel. Stop laughing! <laughs> You'll have to fight your way through five death-defying stages, but getting through is far from easy. Mutant crabs, giant bosses, an army of suicidal soldiers, and even the undead will do all they can to disparage you. But if you can't beat them, join them. Thankfully, you can free prisoners who will reward you with power-ups and new weapons. Thank you. And even if they have nothing to offer, you'd still want to help them out, because they're so nice. Thank you. One fun feature is that the game levels are chock full of alternate routes. At certain crossroads sections in the game, you have the ability to enter different sub-levels. Sub-levels, get it? Anyway, this manages to add some degree of replayability and helps keep the main levels from getting too stale too quickly. Overall, if you like this series or the genre, Metal Slug 3 is a fine example of this classic style of gameplay. Nonetheless, even though it's insanely hard and it's overpriced, we give Metal Slug 3 a rock-solid 3 out of 5. Thank you. Back when Metal Slug 3 first came out on the Neo Geo, the cartridge cost $200. I'd pay 10. Stick around. When we come back, X-Play sinks. I'm sorry. <laughs> Up next, friends don't let friends sing drunk in Karaoke Revolution 2. I'm a midnight talker. Brought to you by Arby's. Try Arby's new market fresh chicken salad sandwich. Chicken salad never tasted so good. Here at Arby's, <gasps> we're celebrating the introduction of a great new sandwich. <gasps> Introducing Arby's new market fresh chicken salad sandwich. Tender all-white meat chicken with fresh diced apples, sliced grapes, and toasted pecans. All on bakery soft honey wheat bread. Uh-oh! Arby's new Market Fresh Chicken Salad Sandwich. Chicken salad never tasted so good. They're hot. They're powerful. And they can tow over 6,000 pounds. Trailblazer and the seven passenger Trailblazer EXT. Trailblazer, an American revolution. Trailblazer is available with the safety and security of OnStar. Hey, it's the Rodriguez. Big game tonight, huh? Hey, A Rod, MVP, right? New York, pressure? No sweat. That's why Speedstick 24-7 has patented sweat and odor fighters for maximum protection 24-7. Whoa, A-Rod, gotta hit 80 homers! For every New York minute of your 24-hour day, there's Speedstick 24-7. So, Alex, just one home run tonight? Tough town. Speedstick 24-7, maximum protection 24-7. By Menon. Next on G4 Tech TV. 
not stupid. I'm Laura Swisher. I'm your TV pal, Mark Sargent. All right, tonight's show is so full of this, it'll pop you in the nose if you look at it crosswise. Unscrewed with Martin Sargent, coming up next, only on G4 Tech TV. Not Honda, not Toyota, not Nissan, BMW, not even Mercedes. Only one car company can make the claim best backed cars in the world, and that's Mitsubishi. Come in today and check out Mitsubishi's best backed cars in the world event. Only Mitsubishi Motors combines three years of free scheduled maintenance, a five-year bumper-to-bumper limited warranty, and a 10-year powertrain limited warranty. And if you come in right now, get up to $3,000 factory cash back. It's the best back cars in the world event, and it's only at Mitsubishi. Nerding people out since 2003, it's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Welcome back to X-Play. We like Konami's first karaoke revolution in theory. Now, we say theory because ostensibly when people who are more vocally talented than the X-Play staff play it, it can be fun and entertaining. When we play, all that remains is pain, misery, and the wailing of children. We harpoon children? Only the fat ones. Oh. Anyway, now the game returns with more songs and more options. Here's a review of Karaoke Revolution, Volume 2. Mm. Last winter, X-Play gave you tender love songs. Who will dance on the floor in the round? Powerful ballads. I would like to be. Coming soon from the company that brought you Karaoke Revolutions, Konami presents Karaoke Revolution, Volume 2. Touching me? Yes, now you and your friends can put all that pent-up raw motion into massacring a whole new slew of classics. Where can I find a woman like that? Including this song. Sitting on the duck of the bay, watching the tide roll away. This song. Every breath you take. And this song. Okay, for those of you familiar with the first karaoke revolutions, number two will basically work the same. Try and match your pitch to what's indicated on screen and sing, screech, or mutter the words as they fly past the screen. First I was afraid. I was petrified. Kept thinking I could never live without you by my side. But then I spent so many nights thinking how you did me wrong and I grew strong and I learned how to get along and so you're back from outer space you have backup singers to help you along the way they're not the original artist but chances are they are better than us people talk about me baby say I'm doing you wrong doing you wrong Ever wanted to sing Let's Get It On at the county fair? Well, neither did I. But you can anyway, and even pick out a cute costume. I believe in the pink color. If you are having trouble getting your friends to witness your fine melodies, with every step you take, click over to the quick play option and perform to a real live virtual audience. Unfortunately, sometimes it's hard to impress even animated people. The genie in battle. Oh. Oh, so he doesn't even get to finish? If you're not in the mood to be judged, the game crowd doesn't figure in if you choose the standard karaoke option. Of course, you're still susceptible to cheers and jeers from whoever you've invited over. This isn't the type of game you'd normally play by yourself, unless you want your neighbors to ask you the next day why they heard you singing Britney Spears' Toxic all by yourself the other night. Karaoke Revolution Volume 2 looks highly entertaining already. We'll hit you, baby, one more time with the review. So stay tuned to X-Play. Hey, one thing I think Konami should do yeah. is should have one special add-on disc, and it's just Freebird. Just, just, just to end all the requests of you jackasses out there at those shows who, who request the song. Wouldn't that be great? Because then you understand it's 45 minutes of misery. Of, of, of watching you. Yeah, yeah. free bird. You're very yeah. talented, though, I do yes. have to say. Yeah, I walk. I mean, look at me right here. Well, if you <laughs> want to comment on my talent or Morgan's actual talent, then uh, I you can't can... sing either. Yeah, but you can do all those other things very well. Go to our website, g4techtv.com slash xplay. There's, there's stuff there. Good night. You can check it out.